Sandra, turning back now to the war in Ukraine, the Pentagon says Russia increased its activities in the northern Black Sea, where ships are shelling targets in the suburbs of Odessa. It comes as the world waits to see Putin's next move after President Biden signed an order transferring more military aid to Ukraine. Michael Allen joins us now as a former National Security Council special assistant to President George W. Bush and former senior director for counterproliferation strategy. Let's go to the big map here because a couple of points I wanted to make here. Kiev still in Ukrainian hands. The Russians have not been able to encircle it yet, nor have they been able to encircle Kharkiv. Russian forces are moving uh, this way, sort of southeast toward the Donbass region. And, and I'm wondering, with Russian forces mired up in, in the north and to the northeast, is the best Putin can try to go for is to make something like this the new border between Ukraine and Russia? He would definitely, through this strategy, be getting a sort of crescent of the most strategic areas of Ukraine as they pertain to the Black Sea and, of course, the Sea of Azov right over here. I still think he wants to go to Odessa. He wants to try and get around and approach it from the north and then maybe come in with an amphibious landing. So I don't think he's totally taken Odessa off his mind, but I see what you're saying here, and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm just wondering, the more he gets mired down, may he have to sort of pare back uh, what, what he ultimately wants to do. Let's go to the south here, because we saw these horrific attacks here, this drama theater where a number of people uh, were taking refuge, was shelled yesterday and destroyed. Russia says, no, we didn't do it. Clearly, they did. Uh, they have also taken hostages up here at one of the main hospitals. And there was a Russian general of the 150th Motorized Rifle uh, regiment as well that was killed. So talk to me about the developments here in Mariupol. Well, I'm still worried about Mariupol. Let me say that up front. If we had to, if you pressed me on what would be the next city to fall, I would worry that it was here. The Russians have been steadfast in the south. Their equipment and their troops are better down here. Um, but the Ukrainians still have determined resistance. But you see the shelling that killed the so many people in the theater. They don't feel the political pressure than an American might in an American campaign somewhere. Well, this Putin, is Putin's playbook. Putin can sit back, exactly. This is his playbook, shoot artillery, kill innocent civilians, and try and force Zelensky to capitulate because of civilian deaths. I don't think it's going to work, but he can play that for a while. All right, so let's go from the Sea of Azov, and let's uh, go clear across to, over to the... Uh western shore of the Black Sea here. You mentioned Odessa. We do know that some Russian ships here from the uh, Black Sea fleet, uh, which is anchored in Sevastopol, have been shelling areas around Odessa. They haven't shelled the city itself yet. And in terms of Russian military movements, they came up here through Kherson, and they've been stuck in Mykolaiv, where they have been turned back by local forces. They've tried to go north across the Boo River, but they've been turned back as well. If they can't get to Odessa, what happens to that plan that you were mentioning earlier? Well, they're going to have big, major trouble. I don't know that they can just accomplish an amphibious landing without some idea that they're going to be a pro. They're going to have reinforcements coming from the north also. I mean, one of some of the most more spectacular Ukrainian fighting has occurred up here as they've tried to get over the river. If you read the Wall Street Journal article within the last 48 hours, it's worth reading. It's determined opposition from the Ukrainians killed a superior force of many, many Russians. Yeah, it, it's interesting that when you know the territory, one defender can go against many uh, people who are on the offense. Just coming up here again to the Kiev area, we know that the Russians have been trying to, let me write this here in yellow, the Russians have been trying to get into Kiev. They haven't been able to so far, either from the, the west, the northwest, the northeast, or the east. They've been blocked at every turn here. So what they've done is they've now gone into defensive positions, and we're seeing things like these Russian main battle tanks being dug in. The, the purpose for that is that if you're in a, a, a Ukrainian BMP or a BTR with a 30 millimeter cannon. You're firing from the ground here. You're going to hit the berm before you hit the tank. It's got a very low profile at the top. But these uh, Javelin missiles that we have been providing to the Ukrainians, we just gave them 2,000 more. They have a trajectory that goes like they have a trajectory that goes like this right. and hits the top of the tank. So as dug in as they may be, they could be sitting ducks with these Javelins. They've been sitting ducks the whole campaign against our javelins this is the apparently the armor is somewhat less up here mm -hmm. that's why they aim for this particular position yep. this is not going to cut it i think this is why you even see russian troops abandoning their tanks when the shooting starts because they know that they're sort of in a tender box yeah you know, we've seen a lot of video where the turret of these tanks these main battle tanks gets blown off by a javelin not a pretty sight no
Michael, good to see you in here. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today. Yes, I appreciate sir. it. Sandra? Thank you.